Chapter 27 of Just for Juniors Little Talks to Little Folks by Rev. Gerald T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Chapter 27 The Little Black Dog. The other day I saw something very funny, something that caused plenty of excitement on a one way street. I saw a long line of automobiles, and not one of them moved. They didn't move because they couldn't move. What happened? Listen, and I'll tell you the story. It was raining, and a bus driver was driving his bus through the rain. Suddenly, he put on the brakes and brought the big bus to a stop. The driver left his seat, looked under the bus, and did some loud talking. Finally, he shook his head. Something was wrong, and he needed help. The bus didn't move for more than an hour, and during all that time, the cars behind the bus couldn't pass. People blew their horns and became very angry. But the driver would not move his bus. He told the crowd that gathered that there was nothing wrong with the bus. The bus was not broken. But there was something under the bus. And that something would have to be removed before the bus would go on its way. First of all, the firemen came. They looked under the bus and smiled. The firemen knew that they couldn't help, so they went back to the fire station. And the stalled bus stayed where it was holding up traffic and making people angry. Finally, five men arrived in a large truck. They, too, looked under the bus, and when they saw what was holding up traffic, they laughed out loud. The men knew that there was only one thing to do, and they did it. They placed heavy chains under the front of the bus, and the men raised the front end. Then the bus driver crawled under the bus, and in a few moments was out again. Standing in the rain, the driver held in his arms the cause of all the trouble. What was it? Why, a little black dog. Yes, a little black dog had run under the bus to get out of the rain, and that little black dog stopped traffic for more than an hour. Many people were late for work just because a little black dog wanted to get out of the rain. Do you know, boys and girls, that very often little black dogs get into your souls? Yes, they do. And when those little black dogs get into your souls, they cause plenty of trouble. They tie up God's grace. They keep God's grace from getting into your souls. Why, little black dogs in your souls cause more trouble than the little black dog did the other morning. Now, what are the little black dogs that get into your souls? They are bad habits, and there are many of them. A bad temper, laziness, lying stealing cheating swearing disobedience all these are bad habits bad habits are the little black dogs that stop you from going ahead little black dogs that keep god's grace from getting into your souls what about your temper does your temper get you into lots of trouble if it does then it's a bad habit maybe you are lazy and because of that bad habit you don't say your prayers or you don't go to mass perhaps you lie or cheat or steal if you do, then you have bad habits. If you swear a great deal or say bad words, then you have a little black dog in your soul. If you don't obey, then disobedience is your bad habit. Oh, I could mention several more bad habits, but I don't think it is necessary. Anything that is wrong and that you keep doing over and over again is a bad habit. Now there is only one thing to do about a bad habit. Get rid of it. Every time you give in to a bad habit, you make a sin. And no one wants to make a sin. Remember, if you have a bad habit, you are bound to correct it. When you go to confession, you must promise God that you will try hard to stop the bad habit. If you want to get rid of your bad habits, the best way to do it is to make good habits. Obey your parents and teachers. Be honest when you play and talk. Be clean in your speech. And always tell the truth. Be kind to your friends, to your parents, to your brothers and sisters. Say your prayers every day. Go to Mass on Sunday. These are good habits, the habits that you should have, the habits that will not lead you into sin. Children, don't let any sin become a habit with you. Get rid of every bad habit. Don't let any little black dogs get into your soul. Remember, little black dogs hold up everything. Little black dogs keep you from going ahead. End of chapter 27